Um, am I reading this right? King Daddy DMAC is 112, and it's his birthday today. Well, I'm guessing it is actually his birthday today, but something tells me that age is inaccurate. Happy birthday, King Daddy DMAC. And hopefully more will come, even though I don't know if you're watching this. But if you are, then, uh, I don't know. I'll message you on Skype or something. So, um, yeah, I was going around the Wi-Fi waiting room and I started questioning my existence. Why I had the ability to turn my voice on and off. Why I could just walk and stare at a television screen for quite some time. Why it says standing by when I'm the guy who was sitting. And why I'm able to defy physics and everything else. So then I find Zebra online, and I'm like, hey Zebra, let's do a roulette royale. Well, actually he was like, hey Tigwas, let's do a roulette royale. And I was like, sure, whatever, why not? And we decided not to evolve stuff, because evolving stuff is for people who want to win. Or um, something like that. So I'm going to lead with golden opportunities. Apparently we're not supposed to get Ubers, but um, I omitted that rule because... Um, stuff. Uh, we never actually played by that rule unless it was talked about by the people playing, and by that I mean when me, Tom, and Listris pretty much invented the idea before somebody else came up with it. But, uh, you know, whatever. We used to sometimes include legendaries and sometimes not. So, yeah. He's going to lead with a Beldum of all things, and I got a Lugia lead, so whatever. Golden Opportunities is going to do that whole thing, and now I'm going to skillfully live a rock smash, a head smash rather, and go for a roost of my own. Actually, I would definitely live a rock smash, but uh, yeah, who honestly uses that in competitive Wi-Fi since Absol got superpower? Anywho, gonna go out to HOLD IT! Which actually isn't a Phoenix Wright reference, but um, it ends up working out in the end. So I'm going to hit and power fire and kill Beldum, and I honestly didn't expect it to kill, but whatever, it happened. And I am running the weirdest sets on these things, but then again, it's a lit royale, so I guess it's kind of expected. So I'm going to switch out because I am not able to do a whole lot to him, other than flash cannon, but I don't think it would do that much. And uh, I began to notice here a very big flaw in my team after he sends out his giraffe rig. My entire team is basically special attacking, except for something that is about to come out in a few turns. So I'm going to bring out my Finneon now, and uh, despite the fact that it's named First to Die, it actually does not die first. Which is, I guess, unfortunate for its namesake, but uh, whatever. Luminion is slightly better than Finneon, but whatever. I guess it just happens to happen that way. My other possible name for this was going to be Phineas, but I decided against it. Especially since it doesn't look like a triangle head thing. So, going to signal beam a few times, try and get crits and confusion hacks. But uh, I don't get them because why would I? And uh, I was like, oh, you're a baton pass set with um, rest to get rid of sleep. And then it turns out he's actually an early bird set that was a fully offensive with... Um, Call mine. So he's going to start being like, Hello, Echo! My name is Ed! And attacking my Lugia, who is honestly not liking that whole thing after Lugia misses a dragon tail. It's not a dragon, so I guess it just hasn't mastered the technique yet. Now Golurk is going to come back out, and for whatever reason, every time I go for the dragon tail, it brings out Golurk or his right Rhyperior, yes. Rapierier, you know, Rampardos' twin brother. So, I go for a roost here as he crits me with Earthquake, of all things. And I'm just like, really, Zebra? You're gonna crit me, of all things. And just gonna have to sit here and roost and wait outside the candy shop, waiting for the golden opportunity to go in and rob it, but he's gonna punch me with Shadow, the Hedgehog, because we all know Shadow is a odd character to begin with. He's probably not necessary, but people would be all upset about him not being in there. And there's Listerus making a cameo with Skype twice, and he makes a third cameo later when he messaged me during the battle, and I never bothered to move his window until after the third cameo. So, I'm going to go out to my Finneon again, 
and I don't take that super far very well, although he was expecting my Megazone to come in, and uh, yeah, had I just stayed in with Lugia, things probably would have gone well. So, I'm going to surf his uh, cast form that comes in, and I'm like, wow, cast form sucks. And he's going to protect now just because he's got a protect last resort set. That's probably the best you can come up with for a cast form. I don't know. I mean, cast form sucks. He was like, you, you should switch. And I'm like, I don't feel like it. He goes for a sub. Doesn't really do much for him because he's going to die next turn. But he's like, man, you should switch. And I'm like, oh, all right. I guess I'll switch. Fine, jeez. So I'm going to go out to the only Pokemon with Eviolite on my team. And that is Boo the Makuhita, who looks like Majin Boo. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't end up working out very well for me because he does a ton of damage. I know that my, um, Makuhita isn't exactly a powerhouse, but I figured Max Attack Adamant would at least two hit KO with Bullet Punch, but apparently not. So, had I gone for the close combat, I would have had a dead cast form and possibly some hope in the future. So, I'm going to go out to Dying to Play, because I pretty much figured all my NFEs would die in two hits or less. Which doesn't seem to be the case in most cases, it seems, I don't know. So, out comes a Poochiana, and it is going to go for the Sucker Punch, because he knows that I am choiced in some way. And I'm going to Eruption and instantly kill him, because Poochiana is known for its amazing bulk. It is bulkier than Lugia and Chansey with Eviolite combined. Speaking of Chansey with Eviolite, did you guys see the new Tears st stuff? I mean, good god, like, really? Chansey's OU now, and Doug Trio's OU? It went from NU to OU? What the? The hell and there's another Listerus cameo because Listerus is a guy who doesn't upload Pokemon battles anymore so out comes the giraffe rig again again and we're just going to have this whole thing of me just trying to figure out what I want to do to him and um, he's going to start call minding and I'm just going to earth power and hope for some crits and special defense drops and other stuff but that's not going to happen to me because why would I get hacks Gastrodon doesn't exactly have the team on its back, but I'm just pretending. I don't even know why I named it that. But it doesn't exactly have any significance whatsoever. <clears throat> That's a fancy way of saying it doesn't really matter. Out comes my golden opportunities again, thinking he was going to rest, but he doesn't. Because resting is for fools, and Zebra is not a fool. As we all know, because he's using a type of Zebra. Well, it's a Giraffe. A giraffe is now a type of Zebra. I'm now going to go write a book about why that is true. So, I'm going to stay in here, go for Roost, Thunderwave him, because I have the weirdest set in the world. I think I'm the only person who'd run a Lugia with max speed and Dragon Tail. But, uh, whatever. I only use weird, really weird sets for the random battles, which is this what is. And uh, I just messed up my English there, but who cares? Now I'm going to go for the stay in and let him kill off my Lugia, because I felt that he deserved to be able to kill it. And that probably made things worse for me. So I'm going to go up to my Finneon again. And he's going to switch for some bizarre reason. As I surf and kill off his draft rig with a useless crit. Because a crit would have been what it does, double damage, and then I would have been able to a KO. Out comes the Drampardos again, and now I've got to predict and see what he is going to do. So using some advanced calculations that the mathematics on my part, I go out to Gastrodon, and he freaking crits me, which costs me the game, bar none. Had I lived, I would have won, but I don't really care. This was an amazing match with Zebra. And if you're not a zebra sexual yet, you should probably become one. At least that's what he calls his viewers, and apparently, according to many people who name their viewers, I am a Caterpie zebra sexual smidgen. But uh, NBZ kind of stopped doing that whole smidgen thing. Also, I'm going to extra sensor here, and I'm like, flinch! <laughs> I called it, and I got it, and I was like, haha, now come on, let me get another one. Uh, that crit was dumb, I want to get another flinch, but I don't get it, and he rock polishes. Now he's going to proceed to destroy the rest of my team with his Golurk. So, that was a good game, Zebra. I wish the hacks would have been less occurring, but whatever, you can't have everything you want in a Pokemon game, and hacks is there for a reason. So I go to my really strange max defense, bold max HP Magnazone, and I was like, had Earthquake not been stabbed, I could have lived. 
or something, but I'm pretty sure that would have been not true. If only I had Balloon. I don't know if I actually took any hits before I came in, but whatever. Probably did. No, I didn't. That was Life Orb. So, yeah, that's the game. And uh, I will see you later on this channel with other stuff. Also, I'm going to go ahead and say it. This is the end of the battle. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure you wanted to know that. I mean, if I didn't tell you, how would you know? <laughs>